Bristolia Illuminus, the bright white cumulonimbus, the spiritual Acropolis, both beautiful and numinous, a holy hub, an in flower shrub where graffiti's over all walls daubed that says reality is more strange than fiction. This urban mass of contradiction, city of checkered history, city born fat on slavery, city of ghosts, city of echoes, of preachers, merchants of tobaccos. This city is all polarized, it's liberal, free and paralyzed. A city with half-open eyes, it's bleary-eyed, still stupefied, like drunkard rising from a slumber, or traffic signal locked on amber, or wheels nearing a positive camber. A city on the verge of a religious revival. A seven tidal surge, a purge, a spiritual spiral. For Bristol is the city of the artists and the thinkers, and the poets and the pickpockets, the junkies and the drinkers, and of writers and of fighters, and of troubadours and prison doors, of hookers, whores, those eyes adores whose scarves are caught within the wheel of needing chemicals to wipe out everything they feel. Wake up and do it all again. This city that is numb as well as one in pain. It's a city that can smile but when it smiles shows you which teeth are missing. A city that beguiles you into arguing and kissing. A city whose liberalism is also bound, stoically choked. A city made of schism and of crack cocaine and coke can smoked. Entrapment in its cameras and avarice in its traffic meters. It's a city both of tender love and child abuse and drunk wife beaters. There's corruption in its corridors of hierarchical power. Freemasonry behind closed doors, that's Satanism in its towers. And bribery, and usury, conglomerates for surety, and all this plain to eyes that see. Yet Bristol is an elegy to past spiritual revelry to Wilberforce, to John Wesley, to Methodism, Baptistry, to Hannah Moore, who saw and tore the veil between the rich and poor, to engineers who pioneered the supersonic boom jet planes, to Isambard Kingdom Brunel, who stretched the irons over spans, to wander lustrous John Cabot, he found Newfoundland, time forgot. And to the real Billy Holiday, that's Billy Butler. He made gay the working classes of the West. He gave them fun and let them rest. And to scientists, a Humphrey Davy, he invented laughing gas. The same gas hedonists suck in on Bristol's splendid streets of sin. And Tony Benn, and Cary Grant, and Banksy's enigmatic art, and Ronnie Sighs, and represent, each one in their own way, God sent. And me, who you listen to now, we all ended up in Bristolia somehow. Like Esther, for a time as this, like lipstick made to bless a kiss. We're hipsters here, we're hedonists. We top Britain's best city list. 
every time because like wine that matures in the dark and mold we are a city hot and cold and we are a city that's foolish and wise a city of thunder and blue skies of idealism and compromise of pomposity and humility of promiscuity and of honesty and boozers, users, usury it's a winner's, losers, lottery this city is a jamboree, a jamboree. it's explicitly angry and morphing exponentially and mouthing poems endlessly this city home to you, me situated so pleasantly both cursed and blessed spiritually yet deemed to glean eventually for I dreamed I saw this city rise city laden with truth and lies shed all its complex compromise I saw her wake, her slumber shake I saw her yoke of checkered history break I saw spectral hues all adorning her skies she had blood on her hands but fire in her eyes